Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And today's video is probably going to be pretty quick and straightforward, but I wanted to make a video on the topic of proper ventilation or just basically what I do when we make candles in our apartment. So in most apartments, I believe this is how it works. And if you live in an apartment, you can let me know if this is how your apartment is. We essentially only have a breeze or windows on one side of the apartment. So we don't have any kind of cross breeze going on. So this side of the apartment back here, no windows, no anything because there's another person that is on that side over there. So that's something that can make things really difficult when you are, let's say, pouring 100 candles, you have so much fragrance oil going on into the air and you wanna make sure that you can get that outside and get all of those fragrance oil fumes and everything kind of circulating through the apartment and through the space that you are working with. So I just thought that it might be interesting to share about ventilation and how we've managed to make it work inside of our apartment. And there's mainly just two different things that have helped and made a world of difference in terms of trying to get the fragrance oil out as soon as possible. And that is an industrial fan and an air purifier. I don't know how I've managed to go all this time without having both of these devices, but they have made a world of difference when it comes to candle making. So the first one is the fan. This one is amazing. And what we do is when we pour candles, we open up both the sliding glass door as well as the kitchen window. We keep the bedroom door closed because that's kind of like the fragrance oil free zone. So we're able to go in there after making candles and um, no you know, fragrance oil gets in there. And we put the fan either in front of the sliding glass door or sometimes out on the balcony, whichever we need to do. And even the low setting on this thing is really powerful. So most of the time we just turn it on low and this thing is able to blow around and basically circulate the air inside of here so that when we pour the fragrance oils, molecules are not just kind of hovering and staying, they're being kind of guided throughout the apartment and then out the door or out the window in the kitchen. So that has helped a ton when it comes to not having to be so stuffy and full of fragrance after we pour. And then as well, we also have the air purifier. Again, don't know how I managed to go this long without it. We pretty much have it running 24 seven now. It is just amazing. I love it so much. And it just, again, helps to purify the air. So having the air from outside and all of the fragrance oil molecules kind of you know, guided outside, plus the air purifier has just made a world of difference when it comes to candle making um, and just making it to where it's a much more enjoyable experience, enjoyable process. And I know I have made a video before on wearing a respirator. And with this combination, I probably would of course still recommend to wear a respirator, but if you're just pouring like a few candles at a time or even Chris, sometimes he just foregoes the respirator. He just feels like he doesn't need it as much anymore because of how much ventilation with these two things combined. Um, but it really just depends on your sensitivity to everything. So for me personally, I probably would still wear a respirator. Um, but it has just made, again, a world of difference when it comes to the actual pouring process. And that's pretty much how we get around trying to ventilate this area in our one bedroom apartment with only having windows on one side of our apartment. Um, I really hope that this helped you out if you were also in an apartment or if you're just in a space that let's say only has one window on the side and you're trying to get the fragrance oil out um, and not have it be so stagnant, highly recommend that you do this combination of the industrial fan plus the air purifier. And again, I will have links to the both of these in the description box below and also probably a pinned comment as well. If you're interested in checking it out, the air purifier is definitely something that is an investment, 
but it is well worth it. And again, we pretty much have this thing going on all the time, all day long, and it is just wonderful. You do have to clean it though. You do have to make sure that you're cleaning out the filter and all the stuff that it's collecting um, because otherwise it's just gonna get nasty and probably not work very well. Um, but with that, I think I'm going to end today's video right here. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.